What's up guys, Dr. Antonio Webb here. I am in San Diego, California. I'm here to learn. Uh, learning never stops, even after 15 years of school and training, uh, education, the, the desire to learn new information and new surgical techniques is there. So I'm here learning a variation of a procedure that I do called a lateral fusion a uh, slight variation of that where we're doing this procedure while the patient's laying flat on their back. Traditionally, when I do this procedure, we lay the patient on their side, we make an incision on their lower side here, and we're able to remove the pressure off of the spinal canal and also address spinal stenosis, which is tightening of the spinal canal, spinal spondylosis, which is arthritis, or spondylolisthesis, which is a slippage of the vertebrae. So I'm here, we're gonna get into the lab, we have a lecture, quick tour, and uh, should be a good day. Later on today, we're gonna be heading to a studio that um, we have rented out. We're shooting a social media course for doctors, teaching doctors how to use social media, how to brand themselves, and how to market themselves. So should be a good uh, day today. It's gonna be fun, packed, and uh, pretty eventful, so we'll see you soon. Let's check out the lab here. Most of the labs that we use in training, they have a lot of the instruments that we use in surgery. So like a fluoroscopy machine, we use cadavers. These are people that have donated their bodies. And these cadavers, you know, we hold and treat with the utmost respect because these are people who donated their bodies. A lot of the instruments that we use in surgery, such as this mallet here, a retractor, this is called an Army Navy. Most of this lab here is just like a makeshift operating room. And this is how we practice as surgeons. This is how we get better and we train. Just like a professional athlete, they practice, go in the gym, work out. You know, we do the same thing as surgeons, so. We'll be taking some fluoroscopy during the lab and this is just to protect from the radiation that we'll be exposed to during this lab. Let's go, let's go learn. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> This um, cadaver is prone, they're on their belly. Yeah. Uh, we have the bed rotated very slightly. Uh, we made an incision um, on the uh, cadaver side here. So their feet are down here, their head is this way. We made an incision um, here. We went through subcutaneous tissue and also the uh, external oblique muscle, the internal oblique muscle, and then the uh, transverse salus fascia. And we placed a pin into the disc space there so we, we localize our area on the um, on the film. Basically, check and make sure that we're uh, in line with the disc space. We do these surgeries through this small retractor hole right here. We're going to open it up and expand it some, but this is the uh, retractor that we'll be using. So this is the implant that what we typically use in surgery, this is peak or plastic. There's also titanium. As a patient starts to fuse their bone, the bone, the bone graft and the bone will actually grow through this hole here. We trialed it. This is our actual implant here. So 
So this is what the uh, implant looks like here once we um, put that um, fusion device in the spacer. These are the markers that we can see where exactly we are. That should be right in the middle. And then, can I see that lateral view? Oh. Yeah, this is lateral view. This is anterior to the spine, this is posterior. You can see the, the cage is here. This is the hole for the nerve. And you can see how wider and much larger that hole is. So that takes the pressure off of it. So most of these patients, we uh, place what's called pedicle screws. This goes into the pedicle of the uh, vertebral body and also the vertebrae. And this is just a system to uh, place those screws. It has a little wire on the end of this that allows us to um, place it in a proper position. So we're gonna do that now. All right, so we just got done with the lap, uh, learned a lot, got to play with a lot of instruments, and also working around the cadaver, which is always a great educational time. Now, we're gonna head to the studio where we'll be filming probably for the next eight to 10 hours, social media for doctor's course, and uh, you guys are gonna check out some of the back to the scene parts of that. See you soon. All right, so I just got to the studio where we'll be doing some work today, shooting some content, and mostly just shooting content for a course that I have coming out called Social Media for Doctors. I realized that there's really nothing out there that teaches physicians like myself how to utilize social media, how to market themselves, how to brand themselves, and uh, I saw that there was a niche for that, and we do, we're gonna create a course today. So I'm out here in California, about to meet with Dr. Lee, I invited him and we're collaborating, coming up with this course together. We're about to go meet him um, here at the studio. Dr. Lee. What's up, brother? What's up, man? How are you? Good to see you, man. Good, well. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, man, go ahead and tell the uh, people who you are and uh, what do you do? Yeah, so I'm Dr. Lee, occupational medicine physician here in San Diego. All right, so we're here at Optic Element, the lab, and yeah, this is where they keep some of, uh, some of the equipment. This is awesome, man. This is this, this reminds me of uh, Casey Neistat's uh, little studio that he has out in New York, but uh, where he kind of hangs everything up, all of his uh, cr cranes, gimbals, drones, things like that. But this is one of my goals is to own a studio like this to shoot content in. So it's fire. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, knocking out this course. Uh, can you show us where we'll, we'll be filming at today? Yeah, let's take a look at the podcast room. Okay. All right, so take a quick little spot. I'm excited, right man. This is one of, my, been one of my goals for the last few years uh, to shoot a social media course for doctors, but uh, this, yeah, is, this is where we'll be. Yeah, this is the setup. So behind the scenes of uh, social media for doctors uh, course that's coming out, um, Dr. Lee, we're about to knock out this course. We'll be working probably for the next, what, eight hours, maybe yep. 10 hours? Eight, 10 hours, we're gonna knock it all out one shot. Yeah, so putting in the, the, the time, the effort, and also just making sure that we're, we both have the time to do this. I'm, it's, my schedule is so crazy. I have the opportunity to come out to California and uh, yeah, we're gonna take advantage of it, man. We're gonna work to the middle of the, middle of the night tonight and yep. knock this out. But I wanted to thank you guys for following along with me over the last day or so, day in the life of a spine surgeon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we're about to get to work. And you guys are gonna get going. <laughs>